it's on recording. Well, I'll, just, I'll just shut the door. Yeomans all over the place running, running the mug. Yeah, you could have sent someone to do the makeup. Uh, hello there, I'm uh, Chief Young Warder Pete McGowan uh, from Her Majesty's Palace and Fortress, the Tower of London. Uh, I look after another 36 Yeoman Warders. Uh, and we're classed as the body of Yeoman Warders at the Tower of London. And uh, I'm presently in the Bywood North office, which dates back to uh, around 1280. Uh, talking to you guys out there. I was on holiday in London, and my wife be a, thought it would be a good idea if I, if I looked at this job. I never ever envisaged myself being a Yeoman Warder at the Tower of London. I was, I was living overseas at the time. Uh, however, she said you're good at telling stories. I didn't know how to take that. Uh, however, I did I did apply for the job uh, to, to, to be a young warder or, or a nickname Beefeater. Uh, to be a young warder in Tower of London, you must spent over 22 years in the Majesty's Armed Forces. I spent over 25 years in the Royal Air Force. You must have been the rank of Sergeant Major, and you must have been awarded the Long Service Good Conduct Medal. So I applied for the job, and within uh, six weeks, uh, I was having an interview in the town of London and eventually got the job. It was never uh, in my dreams to, to do this job, but as time went on, I suddenly realised that maybe I could do this. If you become a young warder at the tower, uh, you're signing up to live uh, with your family at the town of London. There's no retirement age for a young warder, so you're, you're here as long as you're fit enough to do the job. So this is where my family lives. It's not a bad postcode. But it is hard to get a pizza to the front gate sometimes. Just behind me there is, uh, is, is, is Mint Street. That's where coins of the realm were, were made and produced up until uh, 1810. Uh, it's now where the, the Yeoman Warders uh, live, all the way around the, uh, the palace. Uh, they're called the casemates, the houses are called the casemates. And uh, there's 30, 30, uh, 37 Yeoman Warders with their families that live at the town of London. Uh, there's about 45 families in total because we have the, uh, we have the doctor and we have the priest and we, we, have, we have our own general and keeper of the crown jewels and you know, the governor and deputy governor. So 45 families in, in, in total live in the, within the walls of the town of London. Pretty busy place. You'll see me walking past some houses here. These are houses on Tower Greens, other homes where the Yeoman Warders live within the tower. And because we're on lockdown, you'll see that one of the cars are outside as well. Very rare you'll see a car inside the Tower of London in the inner ward, but there is. And a lot of people are keeping very fit. We have a moat here that goes around the tower, and uh, a lot of people run around the moat. We have a gymnasium and a set of gym out on the wharf as well. So a lot of guys uh, take part in that. Uh, and I think nearly most of us have got dogs in the tower and we take our dogs for a walk. So we've all, we're all doing a lot more fitness than we would do uh, if we had the, had the visitors here in the town of London. We're obviously on lockdown, uh, but uh, we keep the place as pristine as we can. There's one of the yeoman warders there, actually watering the grass. So we don't only sweep the leaves up, and, uh, and empty the bins and, 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 uh, and check all square, preparing for our visitors. You'll see the Yeoman Warders even watering the grass there. Well done. Uh, we're probably 2014 when Her Majesty came to the town of London uh, to rededicate the Chapel of St. Peter and also plant ceramic poppies in the moat because we were uh, commemorating the, the beginning of the First World War. I love the Chapel Wall of St. Peter at Vincula. Latin for St. Peter in chains. That chapel now is, is 500 years old this year, built on the orders of Henry VIII. Um, beautiful chapel. He built it for his first wife, Catherine the Vatican. He didn't like the other church that was stood there because it was severely damaged by fire. So Henry built that chapel there. Beautiful chapel because my Two of my three children were married in there. I worked there for many years as a chapel clerk. They 
find it hard to, to realise that you know when they go home at night, we we carry on, and we, you know we've we've even got our own pub in the town of London. Uh, not as many it used to be in, in medieval times. There used to be quite a lot of pubs, and it. it was better to drink beer than water in those days. Uh, but uh, but but we we have our own life here uh, within the town. So I think if anything uh, shocks people, it's usually that one, you know. I'm a great theatre goer and I love, I love musicals and, uh, I'll go, and, and I love concerts, I'm just a, a, a mad music fan and because we've got, we've got the boat, uh, the pier outside the tower, I'll jump on a boat and go down to the O2 and, uh, and, and see a concert down there. I mean, I'm not always going to be at the Tower of London but whilst I'm here, uh, you know, it's a, it's a great place for entertainment and it's, it's got one of the, the greatest, I've been around the world from the, my forty background, but uh, I've never been on, in such a vibrant city, so I'm making good use of it while I'm here. I love uh, soul and uh, soul and Motown music, I was brought up on that, uh, being, a, being a, a Birmingham boy from Warwickshire. Uh, and uh, I love all sorts of music, to be honest, but uh, that's probably that's probably my favourite. You know, I was I, I was I was I was one of the first to get in there and see the Motown story, uh, for instance, in town. But uh, there's some great shows there. But that's that's my style of music. Yes, I, yes, I'm, I'm well known for, for blasting that music. Every every now and then, I'll even put it on in the office. I'm, I'm a frequent uh, visitor to the. Um, Ronnie Scott's Jazz Club. <laughs> so uh, I, I love it on a Friday night because there's a, you know, you can go upstairs and dance and all sorts of things. But Ronnie Scott's is the place to go. Just go early and go to the left hand door. Tell, tell him the chief sent you. <laughs>